them with maybe getting the degree or getting the CTEC certification. And those things help people overall. So when you're looking at this, you look at the roadmap. You gotta find your true north. Now your true north is a way for you to know exactly the direction you need to go in. So finding your true north is very important for you to consider as the perfect measurement of where you want it, to where you are now, the gap between where you are now and where you want to be. And then you want to go back to your vision and your mission for yourself, and then there was a guy named Dennis Waken. Dennis Waken talked about liking yourself, and he had this saying, he was like this, he said, I like myself, given my parents and my background, I'm glad I'm me. In fact, I'd rather be me than anyone else living in any other time in history. And I want to ask you, do you like yourself? Because if you look in the mirror and you don't like the person looking back at you, what's going to happen is you're going to go through the day and you're going to feel the stress. And you're going to say, hey, I don't know if I like myself or not. Right now I'm not in the field that I want. Maybe the business isn't doing as well as I'd like. I didn't get to where I expected. Well, forget about that. Think about how great you are right now and all the, all the successes you have. If you focus on everything that you did right to get here, look at all the things you did right to get here, then you focus on the good things and you start to like yourself. So whenever you uh, focus on doing what you love and you focus on what you've been doing in the past that got you here, then you can start to like yourself and feel better about it. So the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is, what is your definition of success? Do exactly what you want to do and you love your work. And you love your work. Excellent. Anybody else? Work family balance. Work family balance. Anybody else? What's your definition of success? To accomplish what you have just set up as a goal. There you go. To accomplish goals. So success is the progressive realization of worthwhile predetermined goals. And it's a progressive because it's a journey. It's worthwhile because it's your goal setting puts you in the right motion, and it's predetermined because that's the direction that you're heading in, and you're heading in the right direction. So success is like luck. It's the residual of design. So when you're thinking about all these obstacles, perhaps the things to do list, you know, quarter to five before you go home for the day, you set up what you're going to do the next day, and then you don't worry about it all night. And then when you get back to work, you figure out what you need to do, and you prioritize what, what your A's, what do you have to do first, what your B's. If you get to your B's, maybe you can get to your C's. If not, you carry them over. You carry them forward. So when you're trying to look at success, remember that you have this thing that Maslow called self-actualization, where you're trying to reach the point where you, you're doing what you love, and you always got to think about what you need. Because what you need is what's going to motivate you. If you need something, you'll be motivated. And the same thing with your people. If you know what they need, then you could motivate them. There's two ways to motivate people. One way is in sales, is you provide a way to solve a need. And the other way is in the office with process goals. It's called process goals where you set a goal to reach a certain incentive, and if they reach that incentive, then they will reach the goal and they'll be compensated in that way. So, the key is not to join an easy crowd. You won't grow. Go where, the, go where the, the expectations and the demands are high. Go where the pressure to perform, the pressure to grow, the pressure to change, to develop, to read, to study, to develop skills is high. Don't compromise. Don't sell, the, sell out for the price of failure. And you want to continue in your field by studying and practicing the hard work that brings what we call incremental improvement. Each day, by the end of this seminar, in a half hour, you'll know more than you did before you came in, hopefully. And then... The next seminar, you'll bring that to that seminar. By the end of that seminar, you'll know more. And each day, you're growing and you're learning. You know in your business that every day you learn something new. So don't join an easy crowd. That's one of the biggest things when you're trying to be motivated. You know, it's easy, it, it, it's easy to get caught off track and, not, and, and all of a sudden now you're with the easy crowd. So there's 12 steps to goal setting. And I'm not going to go through them all, but it starts out with a burning desire to accomplish something. And then it ends up by saying, I'm never going to give up. Don't let anyone stop you from achieving your destiny. Whatever your goal is, that's the most important thing that you have on your mind. And that's what you need to focus on. So set goals that mobilize your energy and increase your persistence and motivate you to choose the appropriate tasks and also keep you in a challenging direction. And this goal setting process could be done in any way you want. You can keep them in your head, but it's good if you write them down and put them on your to-do list. 
and maybe even you know send send yourself messages on uh, on, on Outlook or something.